Today we're diving into a topic that affects us all at some point. I know that I've definitely had food poisoning, especially along my travels. So in this video, I'm going to go through the warning signs, what you need to know, and also how to treat your symptoms. I often get messages from my friends being like they think they have food poisoning, but they're not really sure. So I think it's really useful for you to be aware of the symptoms. What is food poisoning? You can get food poisoning when you eat or drink something contaminated with germs. Most people tend to get ill within a few days, but in some cases you can get ill in hours. Symptoms of food poisoning. Food poisoning can hit us with some uncomfortable symptoms, including fever, diarrhea, stomach cramps, nausea, and vomiting. For most people, it's safe to recover at home and can take up to seven days. However, if you have a young child, you're over 65, or you have a compromised immune system, you're at higher risk of becoming more unwell. So it's important to keep a close eye on people in vulnerable groups, like I've mentioned. How to treat your symptoms. When it comes to recovering, rest and lots of fluids are your best friends. One top tip to stop spreading the infection is to stay away from other people for at least 48 hours after your diarrhea or your vomiting has stopped. I have lots of friends like me who are often traveling and wonder when they should see a doctor. There's some crucial signs you should be looking out for to make sure you're not getting severely unwell or dehydrated. I'm gonna go through the symptoms you should watch out for. Persistent vomiting or diarrhea. You're either vomiting up anything you drink or you're having constant diarrhea and you're going very, very frequently. As a rough guideline, you're having diarrhea up to seven to eight times a day. You're passing very little urine or you're very thirsty all the time. Blood in vomiting or your poo. Blood is another warning sign that you have a severe infection. Weakness. If you notice that your muscles are severely weak or you're unable to get to the bathroom or you're unable to get out of bed, those are signs again that you might be becoming more unwell. If your symptoms have been there for more than seven days and they're not getting better, again, it's important to get medical attention. You may need further tests like blood test or poo test to see what exactly is going on. I also often notice with my friends, they have Apple watches or smart watches and these can provide useful clues when you're becoming unwell. If your watch is telling you your heart rate's very high and it's ongoing, you're having low oxygen levels, or it's giving you other warning signs that you're becoming unwell, those are also important clues to see a doctor. Some final frequent questions that people ask me when they have food poisoning. Can food poisoning be contagious? Yes, it can be, especially when it's caused by viruses or bacteria, and that's why it's best to stay away from other people, including vulnerable people, when you have symptoms. How can I tell if I have food poisoning or the flu. The symptoms are similar, but food poisoning is caused by contaminated food, whilst the flu is caused by viral infections. So it's important to take a good history and ask your friends if they've eaten in the same place as you and if they're having similar symptoms. If everyone's having the same symptoms or having an upset tummy, it's more likely to be food poisoning. Should I take medication when I have food poisoning? It's best not to use anti-diarrhea medication unless you absolutely have to. If you're about to fly or you're doing a long travel, you might need to use this medication and that's fine. But generally, it's better to let your body flush out the bacteria and avoid using medication unless you need to. How can you prevent food poisoning? Make sure you're washing your hands and all the food is cooked thoroughly, especially when you're traveling. So notice if your food has been freshly cooked and recently heated up to make sure it's safe for you to eat. What should you eat? Well, it's important to let your stomach settle down. So it's important to stick to plain foods. Foods that are gentle are banana, cereal, honey, oatmeal, plain rice, toast, and try to drink as much fluid as possible. And this can include sports drinks or ORS from the pharmacy. Thank you for watching, and I hope you found these tips useful. If you can click the subscribe button, it helps my channel to keep growing. So if I can ask for a favor, just please click subscribe. Bye-bye.